What up? Wanted to check out these Brother Hobby Avenger motors. They're 1507, 4100 KV. 1507. It seems like that would be a perfect size for a three or four inch. Uh, I used to, when I was big into four inch quads, I used to love using 1806. I would use like 1806, uh, like 2700 KV for four inch. It was so awesome. Uh, these of course are much higher KV, so they're more for a three inch. But they're probably going to be heavier than a 1407. I don't know how much heavier or if they are at all compared to like the Brother Hobby 1407s. They don't feel like they're real heavy. We could weigh them. Seventeen. Seventeen or eighteen grams. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're a little heavy. But they're also a fifteen oh seven. Man, I love that bell. That looks so sick. It reminds me of like a bottle opener. And they're not sharp corners either. They're like rounded, which looks awesome. Uh, one thing I really like about these is they have the 19 by, what is it, 19 by 16? Or no, is it 19 by 19? I think it's 19 by 19 because, well, I know on bigger frames that take like 2204 motors or whatever, or 2306, you know, they're, the mounting pattern is 16 by 19. So that's 19, 19. So I guess you could just use two screw, two screws, and it and that would work just fine. But I doubt you're going to be using this on a bigger frame anyway. Uh, I don't think that these would be good for a five inch prop at all, being for 4100 kV. Uh, and then you got the 12 by 12 hole pattern, which is what most people will probably be using this motor for. 12 by 12 so it's gonna fit on you know most almost all three inch frames uh, I think I watched recently a part of uh, engineer X's video of this and he was talking about how you could clip off <laughs> this outer part here he was saying use like a Dremel or something and just cut it off but yeah I don't know about that I mean you would have to protect the motor you know like tape it up or something so you didn't get a bunch of shavings because you're gu guaranteed to get a bunch of shavings down in there and that would not be good the bearings feel really smooth uh, definitely not like the other brother hobby motors where you know it's kinda like that ratcheting where when you spin it it vibrates your whole hand <laughs> it doesn't have that at all they're smooth I mean look you can spin them you can't do that with other brother hobby motors So yeah, that's a good sign, definitely. I've always found that with those ratcheting Brother Hobby motors, especially the 1106 ones that they make, they get way too hot, just super hot. So that's a good sign with these. Avenger. What's the deal with Brother Hobby? They're making motors they're naming them after different like Avenger and what's the other one Deadpool the Deadpool ones they're gonna come out with some X-Men ones next or something brother hobby pretty sweet uh, I wouldn't have minded a different color these are kinda dull a blue would have been nice or maybe two different colors like a blue on top and a silver on the bottom or something anyway you got some real long wire super long and that's 
notorious for Brother Hobby Motors. They always use the long wires, and that's a very good thing. You can always cut wire off, but you can't add wire without it being a pain in the ass. Looks like you get somewhere around 150, 155 millimeters or so of wire. So yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit of wire. It does come with uh, lock nuts, lock nut, and a bunch of screws. And they do give you uh, M3 and M2 screws, which is nice. low profile lock nut probably because the shaft is pretty short so yeah these are going to be going on the quattro volante xeno frame the three inch thick xeno frame so stay tuned for that it's coming soon all right